We are in Houston, Texas today, and we are at Combined Arms. We're so excited to be here today because we this is episode three of RVing for Vets. Yeah. Uh, so if it's, your, if it's your first time watching, um, we travel around the United States in our RV, and a portion of everything we make on YouTube and all of our social media platform goes back into the veteran community. Now we're gonna do the fun part. The fun part's giving away money to veteran organizations. This is the third time we've been able to do this, yeah. and we're really super excited about that. We've had so much support over the last couple of months, and the last donation we made was about three months ago, and we always try to make them a little bit bigger, so we did the best we could, and actually we've outperformed any other donation period that we've done. So this is gonna be yeah. the biggest donation that we've ever made to any veteran organization. This proves that even in the holidays, people are still giving. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're, they're spending money on, on um, Christmas so and, stuff, and all yeah, that but stuff. They were but very giving for the holidays. During that time, right. we had a, a great supporting, a great following. Um, and it's easy. All you got to do is just keep watching. It's free, and a portion of the money that we, that we make goes to veteran organizations. Uh, we hope to make it bigger and better. We want to thank the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. We reached out to the CVMA and they pointed us in the direction of the of Combined Arms. And um, you guys are doing such great work in the community. And um, we hope that this money will help a veteran. We heard a story from Brian about some local veterans who had some hurricane damage and they're needing money specifically to go to that project so they can fix their houses that, was, that were damaged, almost like inhabitable type situations. So um, this check is going to go directly to, to that, that fund to go help those veterans rebuild parts of their houses so that they can get back to life, so they can get back here, so they can get the help that they need, get back into the community. And uh, we don't want any of those veterans to fall into that 22. 22 veterans a day are committing suicide, taking their own lives, and we want to prevent that. And Combined Arms, I think it's, it's almost impossible to um, it's almost impossible to, to calculate the ones that you've saved. Um, but I can definitely say that, that you guys are doing great things in, in Houston. So we want to present Combined Arms with a check today. For $800. Wow, thank <laughs> you. Thank you, thank you so much. This is, Our pleasure. means a great deal to us, especially for the fact that not only for the veteran community, but even from the Houston perspective, where people don't realize that we still are suffering a little bit from Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. So this is an unbelievable donation that will go straight to that family, and that, that awesome. is so exciting. It will it's make so such exciting. an impact. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And to all of your viewers. Yes. Yeah. They made it possible. You guys made this happen. You guys kept watching. You guys kept buying stuff on our Amazon affiliate links and buying Wag, Wag Swag, swag. And, <laughs> and joining us on Patreon. So you guys made this happen. All of the... Uh, the um, what was that? Uh, super chat super donations chat when we go great. live on our live videos. You guys made all this happen. We, we definitely appreciate that. And this is the first time we've used the big check. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. We thank, thanks to you. Thanks to, uh, to everyone that's watching. Yeah. This, is, this is wonderful. And we're just so happy you came by to yeah. check this out today <laughs> and see done. us. And hope other people out there in Houston will do the same and come by and see Combined Arms and, and, and hang out with us. Awesome. Yeah. And again, if you guys want to make a donation directly to Combined Arms, all the information that you need will be in the description of this video below, along with all the other veteran organizations that we have donated to. Today we're here with Tana from yes. Combined Arms. Yep. Hi Tana. Hi, nice to see you guys. Welcome what to Houston. can you tell us about Combined Arms? What's it all about? So there are over 300,000 veterans in the city of Houston. Wow. And that's uh, the, the second largest in the country, the first being Los Angeles. Um, but the Los Angeles number is a little 
little tricky because there's so many bases there. People get out of the service and land there for a little bit before deciding where they really want to yeah. go. So that is a transitory number, but Houston people are actually moving here. Yeah. yeah. So and again, welcome if you guys want to ever yeah. set down some real stakes here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys are just in Houston. So we're just in Houston. Um, so there are 72 member organizations of combined arms. Not all of those are specifically veteran service organizations, but are partner organizations like, for instance, Easter Seals. Um, big Brothers and Big Sisters, you know, organiz mm -hmm. organizations like yeah. that, they do have a veteran component to that. But really what this is about is it's about for transi transitioning veterans and also veterans that maybe have already transitioned and been out for a while that just want to check back in with their, with their veteran life. So you go in and you create a profile. You just answer some questions. You don't have to know what any of the logos mean. You don't have to know what organizations do. You, you just have to know how you feel and what you're looking for. So sure. you can answer all these questions. And then through algorithms and math and science and those kind of things, <laughs> it spins things around and then it spits those those answers out to all the organizations that actually cover down on what that specific need or asset or desire is. That's awesome. Like you don't have to know Lone Star Legal Aid is here. You don't have to know that there's a we have an organization that that uh, deals with mental health services. Yeah. You just have to answer That's these awesome. questions and then once this spits this out there, the, the organization that covers down on that need has 96 hours to get back to you. Wow. So now the onus is put on those organizations. I think yeah. that the response time right now is about 52 hours. Oh, wow. So, and, and, and we are a technology and really an accountability organization. So yeah. what we do is we have this technology, we bring these, these uh, organizations here, vet them very, very carefully. We turn down organizations all the time because they just don't meet our standards. Yeah. And, there's, they're, they're, and while there is a little bit of overlap, there's not any direct duplication here. It's over 440 services out of 72 organizations. Wow. So, and we monitor those, those those all the time. If you haven't heard back from an organization that is supposed to handle what your specific yeah. need or desire is, then you know they, they get a little reminder, and then we hold them accountable to make sure that you're taken care of. So that's a huge time saver for vets because it yes, saves them yeah. from having to go into one organization and go, well, that didn't work. Let me go to the next one. Well, that didn't work. Yeah. Let me go to the next one. And it's pretty frustrating after going to a few of those, some veterans just say, you know what, I'm done. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. Well, how do you know which ones are even good ones or reputable? I mean, there are probably 10 times as many bad nonprofits as there are really good ones. Yeah. And so how do you really know which one is legitimate, which one is real? And so that's why we have this carefully vetted yeah. group, of, group of folks here. And when you're, we're talking about, there's nothing else like it in any other city in the country or anywhere else. The importance of having really a one-stop shop for yeah. veterans and for their families. And every service that is involved in combined arms is free to the veteran and the family. And the That's gym cool. that you guys just came to yeah. hang out in, that also is free to any veteran and, and, and families to come and work out. That's cool. That's awesome. So there's always there's always a story of how how an organization starts. It usually starts with a couple of vets sitting around having a couple of beers. That's how this one started. <laughs> or a couple yeah. of beers or whatever. And then they go, you know what? Um, I'm tired of just talking. I want to help. I'm tired of seeing my brothers and my sisters suffer, yeah. and it's time to do something about it. So do you know the story? The sto well, I can't give you into all the exact details. Yeah. But it really wasn't there, yeah. but it really did start with something like that. And then wow. I think there were, I know the, the, the first couple of guys that walked into this building and walked in, and it was like, what are we going to do with this thing? Yeah. And then just continue to build upon it. And so it was just, you know, it, I mean, once something good is kind of going on and there's that, that enthusiasm, then more and more people want to join that. And like I said, not every organization passes that test yeah you know right. so we do have a very very high standard and so it really is how it started and how old is combined arms now so combined arms a uh, four and a half something along those lines so still really new still really new yeah. there are other veteran or service organizations that have been here longer like lone star veterans association which mm -hmm. you guys may have heard of oh, yes. yes yes um uh, hit, hit, hit the 10 year mark about uh, not quite a year ago and realized that they had had really kind of met their goal and so lone star veterans association merged up into combined arms now and so all of those folks and all of those community groups, which uh, included an LGBTQ group, a, mm. a spouses group, um, a veterans in technology, veterans in, in, uh, in injury, veterans in energy, yeah. um, all these groups came over. And so now Combined Arms, even though we deal with clients coming into a system, we also work with these communities and the community leaders and trying to grow that. There's a Christian group, there's there's a, an Eagle Scouts group. You know, We're always looking for mm -hmm. folks that want to you know, congregate that have their, that one through line and then try to help them reach out to their community and bring those folks in too. Wow. Cool. We also have some, some what we call as our collaboration committees. Okay. And those are where member organizations sit on an actual committee and, and have have a collective um, collective impact. So like one of our is, is the is the uh, 
social services committee. So that's organizations that, is, that, that sit on this, this particular committee. We have an SIV and allies one as well. In fact, I wanted to tell you guys about that. The, um, are you familiar with what the SIVs are, the special immigrant visas? Yeah. So those are for our um, Iraqi and Afghanistan interpreters who oh, wow. were able to come here on a special okay. immigrant visa because they you know they helped out our troops. Sure. And there's a, you know, there's a target on their back. Yeah. And so in different cities, uh, there's a large, really group of folks that come, and Houston is one of the largest ones. So we actually have a, um, that's one of our one of our committees. And we do, where we go out to the airport, and we welcome these families in. Yeah, cool. And cool. that's everything that you see coming off that go that airplane is everything that they have. Wow. And so there, while you guys are here in town, there is an actual airport arrival. So we'll right. let you guys know about that if you wanted to come oh, out. That's cool. And be there for that airport arrival. You can yeah. be part of this great, I mean, they get you know, Texas flags. We give them mm -hmm. stuffed animals. Well, oh. you know, welcome the whole family. Wow. And, and, and cool. when they arrive here, they have a place to live. And they give them connections to different jobs and also social services. Wow. So that's, so really that's something cool. that's coming up. So I know you guys okay. are here until the 17th. So yes. we want to see if we can't find yeah. as many as many activities That'd that are awesome. minors are yeah. so you can come out that's and cool. enjoy that. Really cool. One of the things that got me brought into uh, combined arms was work. Yeah. Everybody knows getting out, joining the civilian world. You're like, what do I do now? Yeah. Exactly. What's next? Yeah. What's what am I going to get into? Yeah. You know, and then when I came in with the uh, combined arms and did my information, you know, I got a, a brought into like Next Stop, ACS, and on their Facebook, they started pushing out like where they were having uh, seminars. Oh, cool. And they were having like one on one luncheons and things like that to where you could speak one on one with uh, different recruiters and so on and so oh. forth, you know. And uh, had it not been into something like that, I'd still be working in a warehouse making wow. $10 an hour. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And that's just one of our member organizations. So, yeah. you know, when you do, and if, if employment is something that you're looking for, right. that's one of those boxes that you check in, yeah. and then you'll hear back from yeah. Next Stop. Cool. So, that's um, yeah. that's really that's really how it works. Good deal. Yeah. So you can get good. a lot more technical if you guys want. Because <laughs> I'm not your girl. No, we just but I think yeah, that you yeah. understand brief really overview. Good. Uh, we wanted to introduce you to our our subscribers and our viewers and. Uh, a lot of our subscribers like to make donations to veteran organizations, yeah. and so we wanted to make sure that uh, that they know the great things that Combined Arms and all the, the other uh, yeah. groups that you're associated with are doing great things in the Houston area. And um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero, and we thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.